If you've ever found yourself doom scrolling TikTok, feeling like your attention span is shrinking or struggling to stay motivated, well, you are not alone. But is dopamine really the villain here? Or have we absolutely misunderstood one of the brain's most powerful tools? Let's break this down. Dopamine, what is it and what does it actually do? Dopamine gets called the pleasure molecule, but that's not the whole story. It's actually the brain's motivation molecule, driving you to seek rewards, not necessarily enjoy them. Neuroscience shows that dopamine spikes before a reward, not during. So that hit of excitement you feel before checking your phone, that's dopamine. But here's the kicker. After the reward, dopamine actually drops, often making you feel drained or unmotivated. This is why endless scrolling or chasing likes can actually make you feel worse over time. The highs are short and the crashes are real. But here's the good news. You can train your dopaminergic system to work for you, not against you. All right, so the dopamine detox myth. You've probably heard about dopamine detoxing. The idea that cutting out social media, video games, or junk food can reset your dopamine levels. Sounds great, right? Except it's not that simple. Neuroscientists agree you can't reset dopamine. Your brain always produces it. The real problem isn't too much dopamine. It's how we use it. Instead of quitting everything, what we need is a dopamine rebalancing strategy, ways to rebuild motivation, focus, and energy in a sustainable way. Here's how. Three ways to hack your dopamine, your focus, and motivation. One, train your brain for deep focus. First, deep work. Your brain adapts to whatever rewards it gets used to. If you train it to crave quick dopamine like social media, deep work feels impossible. But if you train it to expect delayed gratification, motivation improves. So try this, the Pomodoro technique. Maybe you've heard of it. Work for 50 minutes, then take a 10 minute break. Pair low reward tasks like emails, studying with mild dopamine triggers like coffee and instrumental music if that's your thing. Two. Make tech work for you, not against you. Social media isn't evil, but mindless scrolling is. The trick? Use dopamine on your terms. And try this. Turn off unnecessary notifications. They hijack your dopamine system. Set no phone zones in your workspace. And grayscale mode. Make social media apps way less appealing. So here's a pro tip. Instead of quitting cold turkey, schedule social media use so your brain knows when to expect it. Three, reset dopamine with movement and sunlight. Movement is a dopamine powerhouse. It's proven to increase dopamine receptor density, making motivation easier over time. Try exercising for 30 minutes a day, running, weights, yoga, it all boosts dopamine long-term or try cold exposure. Showers, ice baths, believe it or not, it has a 250% increase in dopamine, a natural energy reset. Morning sunlight, it regulates your dopamine cycle, helping you stay focused all day. And the pro tip, if you struggle with motivation, start your day outside in the sun. It's the most natural dopamine boost. Dopamine is a tool, it's not the enemy. It's not the problem, it's how we use it. When we shift from quick dopamine spikes to long-term rewards, we regain focus, motivation, and clarity. And the best part is that you don't have to quit everything. You just need to be intentional. So here's a final challenge for you. Try one of these strategies today. See how it changes your focus and motivation. And if you found this helpful, please hit like, Follow, subscribe, and let's keep building better brains together. Thanks so much for watching.